Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Reasonably well. Let me bring this out. I'm going to uh, make it three blocks deep up here so that I've got plenty of room for moving around and I'm not likely to fall off. It's always good to have a decent building platform, I think. Like, if, if you can start off with a reasonable platform for doing your building on, um, it makes life a lot easier. So we'll put that out to there. Let's get that other few blocks in here so that we can do it like that bring do you think you out. remember how to do it what to build the thing yeah. i ought to because i got one right next to me if i can if i can't uh, remember if i can't remember that it's a it is a pretty sad yeah, job but you're joining are you joining them together well yeah i will be linking them that was the one thing that i forgot was the redstone repeaters so i do need a couple of those uh so what we want to do now is we've got this out to this edge over here I want to build another one out to the edge, sort of similar out over this way, which would be kind of here, I would guess, and then one in the middle. Now, when I tested it before, I was leaving a gap of four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then putting one there, but I'm actually going to leave a gap of five blocks because I think that it'll be fine to do it like that. So I'll put one there. And then one, two, three, four, five gap. And that will be the other one there. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we want to put the other one out here like this. Just get rid of that one there a second. And that should be close enough to the edge that it will blast everything that we need blasted. I'm hoping. So we've got that bit out that far. Something's shooting me. Something shooting you. That's not necessarily very good. Where is it? Yeah, the bike's feet, isn't it? Oh, it's down in the cave. Oh. <laughs> me. Right. If I bring this out. So what we've got to do with this is, you see that piston over there is extended. So I'm going to just retract that piston a minute and put it back to there. And... And I'm going to remove, no, I'm not going to remove the lever yet. I'll leave the lever where it is. So we need to make sure that we have these separated. And in order to do the first bit, all we've got to do is have, we need to put a piston right here where this block is. That's kind of the, uh-oh. Incoming, incoming. We got, we got uh, people attacking me. Incoming. That's right. okay. Yeah, you go you, away. Not me. Uh, yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've got your support here, Sen. I, it's annoying that these guys never give you anything. Right, you can go right off it. Did that kill you? No, but he'll be a while before he gets back up. All you get is the banner and then this the, the debuff as well. Which the, oh, the debuff you, is what is it? That a pillager the, thing? Uh, the yeah, the the pillager raiding party. So knock them down like that, and all I get is an ominous banner and then the debuff that lasts for absolutely ages. So I can't go home now until I get rid of that debuff, um, or until Sen I'll go find finds some milk. milk in a minute. If we do happen to find some milk, then ideal. That that is brilliant. But if we don't, I just got to make sure I stay here somewhere. Uh, let's have a bite to eat then. Oop. Everything seems to have ground to a halt. What okay, does? there we go. Uh, like it, I was, I was trying to eat, and it was just lagging. For some reason, like it's very weird the way that servers work with lag. Um, right. Anyway, I want sticky pistons down here, and we're going to put the honey blocks down here as well. So I want to be able to put a sticky piston right there. So if I come out a bit further and i drop in a temporary block on here and then i can remove that one right there and then i can put a sticky piston down here apparently i can't let's pick that one up again there right sticky piston down in there and then i can come over to this side and i can do exactly the same again so i put a dirt block down there and then i move right to the back actually i want to go a little bit closer to just remove it right to the back like that and then aim at the very top and that's down far enough that it is facing in the correct direction so then i need to be able to get down a layer i need to go one layer underneath to do the bit down the bottom 
And that's where it gets a little bit more tricky. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to come down here and we're going to want to sort of build up from down here to do this bit. So I'm going to build a staircase up like this. I come out like that and then I will go over. Do I want to go up one more. Let's go up one more, shall we? There, like that. And then if I come back out from there like this. There we go. And then I'm also going to want to come over this way a bit. Just so that I've got access to both of these. So you can see this temporary block in front. We've got to get rid of that one. We don't want that one there anymore. That They can both come off like that. And then I want to put a honey block right in front of those like that. Then underneath, we need a temporary block like that. And a temporary block underneath that honey block there. I should, I'm hoping, be able to do the rest from up on the top now that I've gone and put those in place. So you've got that temporary block in place. And what we've done there is we've joined that honey block down with that one down there so that it will move the entire thing together. If we didn't have a temporary block in underneath there, when we try to join the machine together, it doesn't work. And that's no good. So we need to come out like this. The problem with crouching on a honey block is that it doesn't actually stop you from falling. Uh, so we've got to be very careful doing that bit. So I'll bring that one out there and then I will come out over onto this side and I'll do exactly the same. Onto the temporary block that we've attached down there, I want to put this one. Then I want to go and put on top of that block, I want to put a detector rail and I'll do the same on that block right there. Now the next bit needs to go out beyond that detector rail. But I don't actually want to join that in. This bit is the bit that we've got to move out to start with. So it's only these couple of blocks right here. So I need another temporary block now. That one's going to come out onto the end over to here like this. And then out on the end of this temporary block, I can then go and put a honey block. And I can put one more honey block out onto the end there. And then out on this side, let me go back onto our temporary block so I'm not going to fall off the side. I want to put another building block. Now, I am only using cobblestone for our building blocks, and I know that there are plenty of people who do not like that idea, but that is what I'm doing. And right there on the side of that block, that is where we put our piece of coral. So we have our coral fan. That one will go right on there like that. And then next to that temporary block, that is where the piece of TNT goes. So we'll put that one in. Let's just move these around a little bit, shall we? Uh, the piece of TNT goes right there on that block. And then we can start covering over the top of this. There isn't anything else to go on this. That is it. That is a TNT duper. We've got it built now. That is complete. So what I need to do now is I need to put a honey block on there. I need to put a honey block out on the side of that one. It's got to cover that one over like that. I've already got uh, the two honey blocks down here underneath. There's one here and then there's one beside, uh, like underneath there. So I've got those two. I've now got these and I'll put one above that. So then I come over to here. I'm going to put this one out here. That one's going to stay there and that's a temporary block in there we need to remove that block there so that one can go and that's it other than putting in the mine cart which will activate the plate in here we're going to put that one in in a minute i'm just going to run over to the bed and get some sleep and then we can quickly put together the other one and we will also put together a couple of um repeaters which we will want for controlling the entire contraption i mean that's it's fairly easy doing the control part that we do i just have to remember how to make repeaters because i i always forget how to make everything in this game uh we need redstone torches now i have 
gone and made the stone in there, which is good. And in here, we have got 64 redstone dust in there. I've got 64 sticks. So if I put those two together like that, there's 64 redstone torches. And then I want these underneath like this piece of redstone in the middle and then the two torches out on each side so one two three four redstone repeaters is about all i'm going to want for this uh, i will make a couple more just like that just in case i need them for anything else i don't think i will but it doesn't hurt to take a, a few extras just in case so we've done one of these now you've got to be very careful you when you first activate it because of that temporary block down there you do have to be careful that uh when you activate the thing for the first time and join it together you don't break anything and you can you've got to use it once and then you've got to remove the temporary block it's very important you remove that temporary block so i need to go down here and put in a temporary block there and it's actually easier, I have found, if I do it like this. did this before. I didn't do it just on the last one. But it is actually easier if you do this. Because then you can put down the honey blocks without fear of falling off. It does make life a lot easier. So we want a block out on there. And we want a piece of coral in there. Like that's the coral fan goes in there. And then I want a piece of TNT down on that one. That block can now go. Then I can come over to here and I can put honey block. Come out over here. Honey block and a honey block up on top of there. We get rid of that temporary block right there. And we put a honey block out on that side. Now I need to make the two mine carts, which I probably should have done to start with. So let's run back up here and knock together two minecarts very quickly. Uh, have I got the iron? Yes, I have got the iron. So I want one and two like this. The only thing I'm curious about is whether I should put the minecart down before I put the TNT. We're going to find out right now. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I am curious if I should have put the minecart down before I put the TNT in. I don't think so. No. You can see right there it hasn't activated anything it's absolutely fine so we'll put that one down there as well now before i start getting fancy with anything and we will be getting fancy with stuff i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put a lever down there like that activate it like that to join it in together then remove that one underneath and then that one can be pulled back in like that and it's ready to go that is now joined together, ready to go. We've got one in place. And we'll go over here and we can do exactly the same thing again. We can activate it, remove the temporary block from underneath there. And then we remove that one. And that pulled it back because it wasn't activating that one anymore anyway. But so there we go. We got three TNT dupers lined up. Now, when we are blasting out this entire thing all the way across, you can have one or two or three of these, and you put a little flying machine in behind it, which is fairly easy to make. We just need three, two sticky pistons and a standard piston. Uh, this one here, this piston here, that gets replaced with a standard piston. And then you need three honey blocks and three observers and three pistons, uh, two, two sticky pistons and, and that one there. And that makes a flying machine and then you can have it fly all the way across the full distance of wherever you're going to do and it'll blast as it goes along and then you so you can like you can set up a line of them and you set them all the way across now there are more complicated machines that will have the tnt machines go backwards and forwards automatically and it takes a lot more with these the downside is that once it's made its way all the way across you've then got to dismantle it bring it back and rebuild it over on this side so you know, there's pros and cons to the different things that we can go and build. We want, right now, a bit of redstone and a lever and stuff like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a repeater down there. I'm going to put a repeater down there. And I'm going to put a, re a repeater down there. Right. And then I'm going to go and take redstone dust 
along here in a line like that. I am going to remove the dirt from here just so that I can see things. I'm also going to nearly forget to remove this dirt down here, which I really do actually need to do. Otherwise, things are going to go horribly, horribly wrong for us. I don't need to remove it quite back this far, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to get the dirt. I want to pick it up and keep it back out of the way because I'm actually going to want to use it again. So I will grab that lot over there. And then we will come back up. And the reason that I removed some of the dirt from up here is just so that I can see what's going on. I want to be able to see down there and see our TNT duper uh, duping away. So if I put down a lever down over there and then I activate it, we got three blocks of TNT. Two up here on the surface. And then some further down. Okay, I don't want to do that again. I'm actually thinking that it would be really nice if we had a few bits of glass in here. I am just getting this dirt here purely because I figure it's going to be useful. Um, Sen's fence didn't do so well that time. Sen? Are you blowing up again? I, I, I'm afraid I blew up your fence. That's all right. That, that was around the top. Um, but we have got three TNT dupers up there that are actually just working. don't blow up my room that you had me build. Right. Don't build Which is the room. Very close. Don't, don't build the room in the wrong place. Is that what I said? Eh? What is that? What I said? No, I'm I'm telling you, don't build the room in the wrong place. I built it where you told me to. Okay, then everything will be fine. There will be no okay. problems at all for any. Okay, uh, let me just eat the steak. I'm waiting for a few bits of glass because then I can replace some of the temporary blocks up there with pieces of glass instead, and we can you we can see through the bottom and we can see it properly blowing up so we'll have three tnt machines all working simultaneously and we will blow that up and then once we've done that we will move the three tnt machines forward to about uh here somewhere that should be far enough i should think we'll put them there and then we'll move them forward again and we will have another sort of session in about there. And then any remaining blocks down through on this chunk, we'll go and remove them ourselves. So we'll do three lots of blasting and three lots of building with the TNT machines. And we're probably then going to have to lower them down and go a bit further down because they generally only fall about 70 blocks and we're 83 blocks up. So we're going to most likely need to lower them down i mean we might end up digging out the stuff at the very bottom by ourselves purely because uh there's a lot of lava down there sen was involved in um, a number of hideous accidents because of the amount of lava that was down the bottom and it took quite a lot to um remove it yeah didn't it? you managed to choose to do it on top of a lake of lava and it's still, the room is surrounded by it. Yeah, so there's, as there's all that lava down there, there are machines that you can make to remove water and lava, which when we come to clearing out the full 12 by 12 area, we could very well decide to go and use. Now, I'm just going to remove those, and I'm going to put down uh, some glass instead of these four blocks. So let's just swap those blocks over. Uh, if I can come forward a little bit. There, like that. Right, I'll put those down. And down there like that. Let me turn that one off a minute. So that one's the same as the the others over there and then you can put redstone flat across glass you just can't do it any different than that so we've got a decent view right here so i'm going to remove this one okay apparently i'm going to throw it all the way down there i can make another one it's only a stick and a piece of cobblestone so rather than chasing it we'll just make another one there just like that and I'm going to put that one just here so that we can actually toggle the lever and see all the stuff blowing up at the same time. So I can do that and I can blast a hole. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Tell me when you're going to do it. Oh. I've already started blasting. I saw it go. Right. Okay. Uh, do you want to come up and see it? Uh... It didn't blow out the side. I was waiting for the side of the hill to... Oh, no. It's, it's not quite far enough out to blow the side of the hill. Although it will be over on the next bit. Do you want to come over and see some of this in action? Yeah, I'm on my way. Right. Well, while you wend your merry way over to us, I will just quickly go over to the bed again. Grab a little bit of sleep. Where shall I stand? Right. Uh, Sen, I want you to come up over here. If you wander up over this way, I want you to climb up to the top. And you see the lever on the glass up there? Yep. I want you to man that lever. Now, I don't want you to spam it wildly because it may still be a little bit low. So what I want you to do is I want you to flick it twice and back again. Right, just leave that there. No, 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 oh. no. That was four times. You just flick the lever four times. Oh, so it does it each way. Eh? Hey? I thought it was like kind of turning it on and off. No, you just you flick the lever once and it moves it one direction because it turns the lever uh, on. What's wrong with doing then, it four times? Uh, because of the like how high it is at the moment, I didn't want to go too high, and I'm also underneath it now. Um, I'm oh, just getting... are you? No, 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 no! I've got I've got valuable stuff on me. I got valuable. No, don't. I'm not gonna. There's a load of coal here. I'm just wondering if we should dig some of this out. I have got loads. I'll, I'll dig I've out. I've got I'll... a dozen stacks of coal now. Have we? I'll just dig yeah. out this one vein right here because it's like right near the surface. Yeah, you stay there. No, 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 no. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything I'm going to regret. Don't make me regret letting you have the control. Wow, okay, this this coal vein down here is huge. Like, there is a huge amount of coal down here. I just found some under the river, uh, the lake down there. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of caves down there that I tried to light up, but then I got... Like, it, they just went on and on. Yeah, I, I can hear a whole load of caves. Um, I, I can hear beasties underneath us. Um, that is the reason for digging out a 16 by 16 chunk. Because the, you your spawn radius is, I think it's 128. 128 blocks in every direction is the full spawn radius. And that is actually 16 chunks. Okay, there's... You missed a, a piece bit of coal right there. You got it. Okay. Let right. me climb back out and Can I do it right. again. Do it again. Uh, flick it just just the once for a minute, like that. Yeah, that was just enough to give me a bit of a headache there from the concussion. I'm gonna again. jump up on here. Right. Flick the lever like three or four times. There. Right, that's that's getting better. We're we're again? digging. Uh, do it again and like uh, do do what you did just now. Do it again. Right, you can go nuts with it now. Now we're talking, and there is TNT Doofers working away. You're dumping three pieces of TNT every time you do this, Sen. Good. Is this good? Are you enjoying it? Yep. But I think I... this is going to get a bit tedious. It's a lot faster than digging it. This is true. Like, we we could... There's a grass block down there. Endermen never cease. They never stop doing their thing. I'm going to creep over to the edge a little bit like this. I don't want to fall down because there's lava down there. So the one on this side isn't really doing anything. But we want these other two to dig all the way down. There's silver. There's a load of silverfish there. So we've, you've just popped a couple of silverfish nests. Nice. And we've got... So the, the lava down the bottom here is doing nothing at the moment. Right, that's, that's stopping it from blasting any further. Do I need to go for the in? No, no, I don't think we will. I think what we'll do is we will blast everything all the way down like this. So just as we're doing at the moment. And then once we've done that, once we've reached down as far as we can, um, we'll, like, uh, I'll take this apart and I will go and build a new one. Sort of bit over. It's gotten very quiet. 
it's still going. I, it's 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 still within range of the TNT explosions, which is good. This is what we want. So the yeah, uh, only just though. I think two of them are now. Oh, it's it, it's just it is kind of still doing in places. Is, still, is it reached the bottom yet? Uh, keep keep going for a minute. This is getting boring. Yeah, well, I can still see stuff happening down here. So it's, it's yeah. There's two of them are now dropping into lava pools. And one of them is still actually blowing stuff up. But I think, oh, that's, ooh, okay, you can stop now. Right, I think one of them down there has actually reached bedrock. Oh, good. The one on one side. There's a lava pool in the way of some of the others. Yeah, I can but... see a lot of lava down there. Oh, th yeah, there's lava everywhere there. But there is, I think, that's bedrock down there. I think we've actually reached bedrock. Here is a zombie. Wondering what on earth we've just done to his home. Okay, so that's that bit done. That's the first bit done. Now all we have to do is carefully dismantle those machines up there. But before I can do any dismantling at all, we've got to build a big platform. So we need... Have you got dirt on you, Sen? Um, I've got a stack and a half. Right, that's good. We need to build a platform about four blocks below the level of... Uh, well, say three blocks below the bottom level of that one up there. Uh, let me come up and just, like set the height of it that I would like it. Um, we want to come out from here. I'll see if there's some more dirt in the chests. Uh, because I... It's not cobblestone. The, the, the reason that I'm, like, wanting it to be this many blocks out and, and so on is I want to make sure that I don't drop any of the materials because we don't have any spares. So the materials that we've got here for these, we Where don't have... I'm up above you at the moment. Oh, so where's the platform going to go? It's here. I'm starting it now. Oh, I thought you were doing it lower down, down here. No, no, no. I'm, I'm building a platform here so that I can dismantle these machines. Yeah. But I'm also extending it out a little bit, uh, ready to be able to start building the next layer of them. Just bring that one out like that. So if I, like, make some squares like this, and then you fill in the middle bits, you're less likely to fall off and get hurt if your finger does the, if your hand does your, like, whole twitchy, twitchy thing. Twitchy thing. Um, so if I come out this side now, and I'll start going out along there, and all you need to do is just fill in these gaps. Just don't get too close to me and twitchy thing you, uh, me off twitchy the edge. Twitchy you off. Yeah, I don't want to be twitchy thinged into the a... lava. Eh? It's not, it's not much of a drop. Yeah, so long as I can land on the side and not land in the lava underneath, I'll probably be all right. That would be quite funny. No, it wouldn't. It would be me dying. That's not funny. Plus, I have valuable materials yeah, on me. but first you'd be flying. Uh-huh. Is that, is, that, is that how you're going to look at it, is it? Mm -hmm. Is that how you're going to justify it in a court of law? So... Yeah. Madam, why is your husband dead? Well, he wanted to fly, so I gave him the opportunity. I helped him. Uh -huh. Live his dreams. Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm not entirely sure that that is going to be met with, with uh, too much kindness by the judge. Right, don't worry about building the platform out very much uh, beyond where you're standing. Well, no, you did a thing out here. Yeah, I know. That, that was so just I like... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.